Chavoyed Achenu B'nei Yisrael HaKtoshin. Rebu, Benazman, Bavelte Yerushalayim, Morning the Chum, Bot Pate Migdosh, Bais Rish and Bais Sheini. And we find that the Avelus, the Kal Yisrael, the Mitzabah Yerushalayim, is different than other Gedorim of Avelus, Chafisholam and Shiva Kreve. In other Avelus, the Haloche is set up that as time lapses, from the terrible tragedy, the dome of Avelus become lessened and weakened. By whom Avelus Yerushalayim, by Tzeno Rabim, it's very difficult for us to relate to the real Madrege of feeling Avelus Yerushalayim. But those Sadikim, they were able to awaken in themselves the real feeling of Avelus Yerushalayim. We find that as time lapsed and the years went by, they felt the Avelus Yerushalayim greater and greater. The Chsam Seifer, the healing of Chsam Seifer, excuse young Olenu. He had a minute, the healing of Chsam Seifer, that every year when Tishbov came around, he made a minion, he counted how many years is it from the Chum of the Beis HaMikdash. And when he made that Cheshm, that another year passed, and the Cheshm became that much, that much, that much greater, he broke down with Gvald Gebechias. It would seem that the enormity of the lapse of time just made our veil stronger and different than the aloche of Avelus that we have I Kreven I think the idea might be that Avelus the Abba Kabbalah from the Roshiva I go in I go in Rabshnei and Zerah Tzadik the Kodesh of Rocha that the response of Avelus of mourning is when a person's essence of of, of his of his nafshis, of his of his chius was touched. And that's the Indian of Shiva Kraven, a part of the the nafshis and the chius of a person is generated from his kesha that he has with those Kraven. And Rahman al if one if a kor is taken, it's it's touched on the on the essence of the chius. And the response to that is Avel. But HaKadosh Baruch Hu gave a koyach that a person can find compensation for that, for that void, for that loss within himself or within his environment. And that's the get of Nechama that he finds, he finds compensation to be able to rejuvenate that 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 void of Chiyas that he's touched by. But that's only when it's essential for his Chiyas, but it's not the essence of the Chiyas itself. Let's give a marshal. The person has a Chmon a weakness in his heart, or in his brain, which are the, the essence of his being. So we're not going to say that the longer... He in that situation, it gets it gets it gets better and better because he finds something to substitute for that. There's no substitution for, for the, essence, the essence itself. And other the longer a person endures the weakness of these essential essential evorim, he gets weaker and weaker because there's no way that time will heal. And bring a mamalim mokim. Elamai, he's without 
the essence. So obviously, his matzah deteriorates chas v'chachmon So, migdosh, hashchoros hashchine, b'seicheinu, 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 is our essence. It's our true essence. And the Chsam Seifer realized that. That the longer we're missing Migdosh and the presence of Ashros Hashchina B'Seicheinu, it's touching on our, on our core essence. And Chaz Shalom, we get weaker and weaker as a people, as, a, as, as, as Yechidim of, of Kali Yisrael. So the Chsam Seifer realized that another another year with Eir to the Cheshbon, oi, how how could we how could we exist? And he broke down with Gvaldi Gvaldi Gavedus. And because of this, Chabad say, but Hakadosh Baruch Hu, the Novi, that gave the Navu of Chum of Golus, Hakadosh Baruch Hu promised. And that posik for Elohim le Migdash Mahat. Because we can't be without Migdash. And if we don't have Migdash in the Goliaths, in the, in the lands of, of Golos, so Hashem says, I will be for them for a miniature Migdash. Because there has to be Migdash. That's the, the, the core essence of Kal Yisrael. And what is what the Migdash Mahat? So Yitzchak says, where he didn't get together for Tfilla and for Teira. The Emrakimus, where there is the presence of Shrin Akdosha in our midst. And that's what we have to cling to, to give us some measure of that essence of our Chius. Which is Ashur Sashkin. So, how much do we have to value and cherish our essence that we have about the Nisis, about the Midroshis? Where Hashem, with his great, great Rachmonis, granted us the Ilam the Migdash Mahat. And the Aloche of Kedushis Hamigdash. About the Nisis, about about the Nisis is that's also to be noy kalus roish, sicha betayla, the form of kalus roish, that's chas v'sholem mechalo, the kedusha of the migdash ma'atam beis haknesis, and that's why in, in, in this time when we're mourning and we're trying to appreciate the deep essence of Migdash. It's so important for us to mechazek ourselves in strengthening the Ashkosh HaShchina and our Botek Nisiyas. And Zohar Oisei Ish Latoiv the Bitzel Perlstein so Zayin Gizut Nishtar that's there for us to mechazek Dushas HaMigdash, Moira Migdash especially in the Indian of Sikha Batayla. In Botan Yesis, Botan Matroshis. And certainly we can't, we can't omit the importance of not cell phones that are the opposite of Ktushis Amigdosh. We should adhere to Rabonim that give us direction how one should act in those kalim that we have accordingly to Ketushas, Beis HaKnesis, Beis HaMedrish. And in that schus, HaKadosh Baruch will see that we cherish Migdash Ma'at, HaKadosh Baruch Hu will bench us that these days and weeks should be in a sapach bekorah bekorah. The yimei simcha, the yom tev, the biyaz girl tzedek, when mei mei samigdosh, mei hem yomeinu ameinu.